Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is your intuitive Starseed Tamero, your light worker, back with another general read for the collective. Thank you all for your likes, shares, and subscribes. Mwah. Hugs and kisses to you. For those of you that are new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Gender can be fluid on this channel, so he can be a she, she can be a he. Flip the roles according to what you resi what resonates with you, okay? This can be past, present, or future. People, places, events, dealing with the energy here. So this energy can come from you, your past person, people around, those involved um, in the reading as it resonates with you, okay? Um, this can be clarity or validation for some of you moving forward here. Only you know what you're manifesting, um, what you're walking away from, who, people, places, events, okay, times. So only take what resonates with you, okay? I also can use profanity on this channel. So if you don't like cursing of any kind to whatever magnitude, definitely do not waste your time or mine because um, it ain't no love loss, okay? There's plenty of readers um, that do not use profanity at all. And, you know, my um, blessings is with you to get the message you need from them. Also, if you can't get it, get it here. But for those of you that just want to be part of the vibe, you know, feel free to listen in. Um, but like I said, only take what resonates, okay? Hopefully you guys are doing well, blessed, and highly favored. Making sure you do your return to senders. And calling for your energy back from those that do not serve your higher good, okay? So let's just jump right into the read and see what messages come out for you collective, okay? Bad karma is out here. First card out. Wow. Let's keep going. Somebody's getting some bad karma here. Aries and a woman here. So this could be a masculine, can be a feminine. That uh, Aries can be significant to this read. Or there could be an Aries also receiving some bad karma at this time. You walking away is her karma. So bad karma is out here, but there's another feminine out here. Um, that a masculine has walked away from here. And this is her bad karma. Um, this is something that's coming back around to her um, here. And this may have something to do with somebody she delighted in this masculine walking away from or hurting in some way but her losing this masculine him walking away from her this is her karma this is her bad karma this person is on demon time she big mad dishwasher could be significant to this read 
Someone named Danny would be significant here. And somebody is discovering some things about themselves at this time that they don't like. Maybe this Aries feminine or somebody is getting a tower. They in a tower moment, like currently, like going through some chaos here. Some um some real hostility here. Like is what I'm getting. This person is like big mad about this. They may even be still trying to reach out to this masculine since he walked away or is like Deuce has kind of pulled back from communicating with this feminine here since he walked away. But he may be going through a tower moment too, you know, just because this is uh something both of them um a gamer can be significant here to this read. But your past person, for some of you, may be going through a tower moment as well as the person they walked away from. That's for some of you. But for others of you, this person, this masculine walking away from this feminine, brought on this tower moment here. It brought on this bad karma for them. Because this person, uh, whoever they are, they delighted in coming between a union here that um, was supposed to come together. But this feminine this was adamant about um, keeping this masculine in a cycle with her. Keeping her, keeping him somewhere, somehow involved or connected to her, whether it's by drama in lies or just by them making this person feel guilty about things like they may be a strong family person and this person this female may be you know throwing this in their face that they're trying to separate here in how you know they're using the kids or kid here as reason for this masculine to stay this long is what i'm getting so this masculine may have been putting up with this, tolerating this female for the sake of, you know, have built a relationship with his kid, young or older. But this figure said that's the truth. The F is out here. Four months can be significant here. This 
Someone is looking for you everywhere they go. Look for you everywhere I go. So this person um, that, that you're no longer in con communication with, connection to, you may live near this person, so they may, you know, try to revisit some of the places they used to see you at or met you at or where they know you go. That's for some of you. For others of you, this person just imagines you in places um, that they walk into with the hopes of that they'll see you. No matter where they're staying. They may even stay out of state, but this person, they look for you everywhere they go. Right? That's how much this person um, is in denial here about your absence from their life, from their energy. And somebody here saying, girl, bye. Right, that's happening to me. And somebody got too many hands stirring in this pot here. Too many people, you know, got a set way of doing something, you know, or handling something here. And everybody got some input here. It's confusion, a lot of disagreements, chaos. Um, conflict and methods like everybody's trying to, you know, have a different um, theory, a different um, recipe, that, you know, to go by when it comes to what's going on with who and who did what to who, who is who and all this stuff. But it's too many hands stirring this pot. And it's causing a lot of confusion. It's causing a lot of disagreements among some individuals here. So this could be a family dynamic or, you know, just a group of toxic ass, loose lip friends. They just like running their mouth. Somebody wants to Netflix and chill. Somebody just want to kick back with you, collective man or woman, and watch some Netflix, chill. Sip. This person like to sip, or you like to sip, collective, or they know you like to sip. Somebody sipping in Netflix and chilling here. Or this is what they want to do for their man or woman. Yeah, they want Somebody wants to Netflix and chill, child. Look before you leap, collective. 
pay attention, you know, to people's demeanor and behavior. Jessica can be significant to this read. And somebody here is saying, all I can do is think about that night. That night with you, collective. Whoever this is that's thinking about this night, this is a night that this person um, felt some type of connection different from anything they've ever felt before. And they was not expecting this, is what I'm getting. This person was shocked. Like, it made you mysterious to them. It made you somebody that was almost magical to them like it's like this person you awaken something in this person that they had not felt in a long time and maybe because they were hurt from being like this or feeling like this towards somebody already that hurt them or misled them and they was not expecting to feel like this about you um, like that, like the way they did. Somebody is envious uh, here and 48 hours can be significant here. Somebody is a frequent coffee drinker. Could be significant to this read. Person, somebody here is saying they feel like they've been cut off collective. I don't know if they feel like this because um, I'm getting this person feel like this because they wasn't expecting um, they wasn't expecting this from you collective. Um, maybe this is something they 
thought, you know, would pass by now, that they would hear back from you or something here. But they, they feel cut off at this point. I mean, and for, that's, this is for some of you, not all of you. But for some of you, this person pushed you to this point here. Um, with the lies, the head gains, and things of that nature. So you just walk away. But you didn't ghost them because you told them you were going to walk away for good. And now uh, this person wants to play victim here in the spirit and probably in the three in the three D I'm here. But this what got them in this situation is the lying and the deceit, you know, and this person faking the phone like this, like you know, not knowing to admit what something really is and just walking around with it. And somebody having some restless days and nights over you, collective. Yep. Man and woman. Make preparation, collective. Man or woman. And somebody got some nosy, toxic ass friends that need to just stay out their damn business. Because it's too many people got their hands in this pot, too many people stirring this pot. And a lot of them is up to no good, nosy as hell. This person want to know, can they please start over with you? Came out in another uh, read. Somebody got a lot of determination here. They determined to, you know, get this another opportunity with you. That's what I'm getting here. They determined. First, middle, last, initial G can be significant to this read. Listening to haters cause you to walk away from them. I'm telling you. This person got a lot of nosy ass toxic friends, but they also, you know, got a lot of people stirring in this pot and it's causing a lot of chaos. It's causing a lot of disagreements, arguments. Causing a lot of tension, around, you know, among them. And somebody out here doing too damn much because whoever this feminine is that was manipulating um, this masculine into staying with her or trying to Do what she had to do or felt like she needed to do to keep this masculine, you know, tied to her. But this person been exposing children to dark magic and rituals. So whatever she been doing to keep this masculine around, it's not working no more. This shit done wore off. And this person can't stand her now. That's the that's the uh the repercussions of you know backfire spell work here. Is you going and doing something Persist, this person was very persistent, did this excessively. And then, you know, telling how many years, you know, or how many months, because four months is out here, but this person could been have doing, been doing this longer, you know, in this on this person, this masculine, to keep this masculine, you know, with them. Gold teeth, somebody... Um, here could have gold teeth at the top or top and bottom one or two in the front but someone with gold teeth can be significant here to this read along with some other things here that I mentioned okay so only take what resonates I 
she's part of a group of haters and impersonators. They, you know, love getting, in, you know, nosy and involved in other people's lives, you know, pretending, you know, to live like other folks and be other folks that they don't lost their own damn identity here because they feel like somebody else's identity is far, you know, somebody else's, um, Business is, is more they speed than their own damn business. And whatever they trying to do, it's not working out for them anyway. This part of, you know, just a group of toxic ass friends. Like I said, nosy toxic friends. And like, she part of this group. And this masculine, you know, being involved with her, you know, put him to be around a bunch of females that's just on some bullshit all the time. You know, they on some, you know, hating this female about this and, and bringing up this and that about somebody, you know what I'm saying, instead of looking at how they being viewed and looking at, you know, they image, they character and working on that. But as long as you got misery, you're going to keep some company. Because misery loves company. So this person going to try to keep everybody that, you know, she talks shit with and talk, you know, Talk about people with you gonna keep them close because she wanna know what they saying and, and wanna keep them with something, you know, positive to say about her while they talking about other folks. And these same folks talking about her. And if they ain't now, they thinking it. And somebody all in. Well, they gonna be. They gonna be. He or she is really jealous of you. They are. And you don't even know this person. For some of you, you don't even know who this past person of yours walking away from. You don't even know this individual. For some of you, you they know of you. You know, but it's nobody you actually talked to and been face to face with. And somebody penny pinching is bad karma for what they, how they been towards you. Stuff they didn't did in the spirit towards you to, you know, try to um, put a block in your finances or try to keep you from being able to uh, prosper, you know, to grow, to expand, you know, to build. This person, you know, they getting that shit back. Somebody an ass keeper, ass keeper. Okay, somebody keeping ass. <laughs> somebody is an ass kiss kisser, people pleaser. So I'm getting this is your past person, child. This is your past person. They done did a lot, you know, behind the scenes with, you know, kissing people ass, thinking that you know. This person going to do better. This the better pick, the pick, better pick for him, you know, but this person having to live this little bit of time with the choices they made, this person, you know, was really, you know, I ass kissing the people pleasing because they made a lot of choices based on what other people was going to say or had to do with. And I, it's just too many damn people stirring the pot. And this is what this person, you know, done been made out to be. Because they allowed too many folks, you know, to embark on a journey that wasn't even meant for them. But this is this person. This is your past person's lesson. This is their karmic lesson. This 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 broad and everything she came with for whatever reason he chose her. You know, um, that's for some of you, not all of you. Okay. 
um, for whatever reason, this masculine is even with this broad or went toward her however long ago up until now. This person knew, you know, it was somebody out here better. But he took his chances, you know. And again, he made some choices that not only, you know, this person may have to live with, but the universe is not going to let this past person come towards you collective with this drama. They're going to they gonna have to handle their business because if they let their business handle them, they're going to lose you forever. Is what I'm getting. This, this second chance ain't going to mean shit. Because your ancestors is not going to um, allow this person back in your energy um, after being healed and um, after being healed and walking away from a lot that this person, you know, let you down. Um, this person's supposed to be, you know, a protector, a provider, you know, a a divine masculine is what they're supposed to be. But they're going to be with you, nothing less. And this person going to have to raise their vibration. They're going to have to cut a lot of people off and, and mean it. And they're going to have to stand on it. Otherwise, this person going to have a long, hard road. With these same people that he trying to walk away from them. He going to end up with somebody, you know, damn near, you know, the spitting image and character of this person they walked away from if they don't heal. And we all at some point that had this moment in life where we had this cycle where it feel like we keep dating, you know, a different person with the same intentions. Like it, it seemed like it keep turning out the same way. No matter how long the gap is before we meet somebody else, they still, we still end, in, end up, you know, on the outs with somebody for the same reasons at a different time with somebody new. Not that we looking for that, but, you know, it just puts you in the mindset that when you let two or three people go over the same thing, it do make you wonder, like, damn, why they, these kind of people keep coming toward me? Or is it me going toward them? Like, what the hell? So. But you can't get nowhere. You can't make no progress. You know, with being an ass kisser or a people pleaser. Or neither. You know what I'm saying? Or both. You just can't. And this, this alone, when you left alone by yourself to look at yourself for all that you have allowed to affect you in some type of way or all that you have allowed to cause you to lose um, people around you, opportunities, it makes you disgusted with yourself. This person, you know, feels that you are so beautiful, collective, man or woman. People, please, are out here again. I'm telling you, this... Dude, gonna have to grow up, bro. 13 is out here. So this person that they walked away from, they could have a history of like 13 years. Off and on together here. Somebody could be in a fourth house or have life had four. Somebody could be in a second house and have life had two. And you could lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink. Shit. You probably told this person in more ways than one collective man or woman. You probably told your past person, man or woman. That, you know, there was going to be some, some storms brewing and coming if this person don't, you know, make a decision and, and make it, you know, in a timely fashion before it's too late, you know, to remove themselves or, you know, see the light at the end of the tunnel when it comes to their situation with this person did not take heed to that. Somebody's a damn cock blocker here. 
But you got these nose ass friends that they gonna block something there. Cause that's what they doing. A lot of this this female that she you know, hell bent on keeping this masculine around and don't even give a fuck about him. It's just the fact that this person wanna come between what this masculine can, could be possibly going toward because she wanna control him and everything that he deal with. Anything tied to him, she wanna control it. But she felt like that's the way, that's the only way she can keep this masculine around is is to keep something going with him that necessarily needs her. This person willing to make you, <laughs> this person willing to just be your sex lady, collective. They willing for you to just do that. This person is... A Libra masculine could be significant here. A Libra masculine could be wanting you to make them your sex slave. This person addicted to that. Now, her kind of friendship is bad for business, child. And somebody saying it was love at first sight. And a woman here. Somebody may try to send you a cash app message reach out to you but you can't miss who you never had baby his mind is currently still in petty mode so somebody uh have somebody here um, that's their mind still on them being petty. They still got some some petty uh, some some petty things about them that's still lingering in their system here that they can conjure up. Now, whether they act on it or not. Look, girl, only time I'll tell you that somebody lurking on your social media. You may have a platform here on YouTube, or you may have one on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, you know, on the book. But this person lurks on your social media. First, middle, or last initial Y. And this person that had a wake up call since your absence. This came out in another read, too. Um, Oh, this card in particular came out. So, hopefully you're doing okay. But these tower moments show sure to make a person feel like, you know, eight can be significant here. person lied to their friends and family about why you ghosted them, Calicia. I'm telling you, this person feel like you cut them off, like you ghosted them. And this is what they've been telling folks. But for some of you, you did ghost this person. For others of you, this person ghosted you, but you let it happen. Because you needed that time to go heal and you know, walk away from this person for good. Because this being with this person was getting in the way of them seeing what they needed to see and take accountability for, you know, how things were going here. Kathy can be significant to this read. Mm -hmm. So 
Somebody love bombing is going wrong, honey. They trying to love bomb the hell out this mansion. And that shit went horribly wrong. If it didn't, it's, it's going wrong. It's going to. But I'm getting this that already happened. This person tried to love bomb this masculine. And they ain't going. They immune to that shit now. And somebody here, Riley can be significant here. And this person feel like you belong to them collective. If there's somebody here that says, uh, those mean texts didn't come from me. It was who I ghosted you for, Divine Feminine. So somebody may be sending you or have sent you in the past some mean text messages with them just being um, short, you know, with you. Like they didn't care, like they were, you know, being cold towards you or whatever. Or, get, you know, trying to blow you off, give you the cold shoulder or whatever. This was not this masculine. This was this feminine. This, this, is, this was somebody they ghosted you for. For some of you, this is a transgender person. They just in their masculine energy. It's a masculine and a feminine energy. Um, for others of you, this is an actual feminine that this masculine left you for. They ghosted you for. You know, or at the time when you walked away from this masculine and cut ties with them, this person got with the next person. And that's who they walking away from now. They may have walked away from this person in January, but this person may have tried to send you some mean ticks prior to, you know, this masculine leaving at a time when they were just, uh, you know, in a lot of dispute and arguments, having a lot of disagreements and them coming back to you or wanting you back or should have never, you know, did you the way they did you or should have took you up on your offer. All that came up, and this made this person that they was talking to very upset, pissed off, and, you know, they even threatened you to this master. But this person, your person is saying, those mean texts that you, those mean texts didn't come from me. It was who I ghosted you for. And somebody here, this is your past person, child. They want you to answer the phone. We need to talk. For others of you, this is this person's ex that they walked away from. Is and is wanting this person to call them. They desperate. You know, they feel like they need to talk. Feel like they need, you know, they need some closure. They need, you know, some answers. Yeah, I'm taking this out and taking it as mask and saying they want some answers too, but they ain't gonna the answers they want don't ain't gonna come from this person. This person they walked away from the answers they want gonna come from you collected. That's the only answer this masculine want is yours. They don't want no, they don't want to get no answers to this this past person. Spell versus true. Somebody finding out how they spell word is not as uh strong as the true here. And somebody true, I'm talking about true, true, like pure at heart. A truth teller. And this person's spell word can't top that. It just can't spell the spell word this versus the truth. A true being or true to man, it's not gonna work. And I said this your ancestors got this person blocked because they got some work to do. And they're not gonna let this person just come back in because they messed up a connection that you know. This person was supposed to walk away from before they was even disinvested with this person. So that's like a slap in the dog's face for them to 
give you the opportunity to start over and, you know, you finding yourself more content and stuck in a karmic cycle off of spell work and somebody manipulating you into thinking that, you know, the person that you done got ghosted by or that you sitting up here allowing, you know, this person to walk on, that was your rescue boat. Yeah, that was your... <laughs> That was your guide is what I'm getting. Eric can be significant here. And Memphis, Tennessee can be um, significant to this read also. And somebody here saying they're not mad. They're just over you. Or oh, this is you collective just saying, you know, this person may think they haven't heard from you because, you know, you've probably been sitting over there where you at mad. You know, maybe this person think a lot of times when you, they don't hear from you that you mad at them. And it's, it, this, it, it was not that. It was not that. This person need to take accountability and stop being so damn childish and immature. You just over them, that's all. Starbucks can be significant here. Somebody could be a freaking coffee drinker. Um. Person feel like they lost us. They lost so much time. You know they may have lost you for good. I said that this person was stuck over here with somebody they thought was the one, and they know you give good advice. Hmm. And this person, they willing to be your side piece, even if you do. Uh, Decides you want to move on, don't want to be back with them. Brown skin by NDIRE can be significant to somebody here in this read. So, um, I didn't copyright that. I think um, NDIRE did. But definitely listen to the song and the message that's in the song as it may resonate with you from your past person or from your past or from you to your past person, okay? So that's all I got for you, Collective, at this time. You guys, again, thank you for your likes, shares, and subscribes. And I will be back to give you guys another general read, okay? So until then, do something nice for someone, even if you don't know them. And even if you don't love me, you know I love you. All right? Bye.